ni xochitlalia, ni xochiso, ni xochisoso, ni xochichi, ni xochi. Chiwa, uh, Niklalia, Xochitl, Manki, Tesoneuki, Ololiuki, Ololtik, Xochi, Ekawas, Eka, Sewasli. Uh, that translates into English 11th paragraph, which tells us how the flowers are offered. I offer flowers. I sow flowers. I plant flowers. I assemble flowers. I pick flowers. I pick different flowers. I remove flowers, I seek flowers, I offer flowers, I arrange flowers, I thread a flower, I string flowers, I make flowers, I form them into extending uneven rounded round bouquets of flowers. So keman, right? Keman means when. So uh, this flower was domesticated around 3000 years ago. Here's a definition in the Florentine Codex, Sempual Xochitl. Tlacot Xochoctic, Matsatsayanki, in Kilo, Maxeltic, Maxeliuki, in Iqueponca, Kitokayotia, Sempual Xochitl, Mama Xeliuticac, Quequeponticac, Quequepontimani, Miek Tlamanti. Sempoal it is the stalk, it is green, the leaves are serrated, its foliage is spreading, outspread, its blossom is given the name Sempoal the branches are spreading, it stands blossoming, it stands blossoming, there are many kinds. So here's drawings of the flowers, and there are many kinds. So specifically the type that's used for the Day of the Dead, Mijica Ilwit or Shantolo, is this kind. This is its scientific name. Um, it's uh, known as Sempa Xochitl. Uh, this is how it's written in a new orthography. In classical orthography is written like this, Sempa Xochitl. As you can see, um, it's orange or it can also be yellow. Here's another variation. It's, it's still the same type of flower. It's just that the variation of the word, Sempual Xochitl. This is how it's written in classical orthography. Sempual Xochitl, classic orthography here. Or simply Sempoali. So it's also not just as Sempoali. And we'll find out what Sempoali means right now. Okay, man. So we were doing numbers. Okay, man. So uh, in the codices, uh, numbers and now are written with um, with uh, dots or with circles. So here, remember, we were doing some numbers already. So we have yon se, se, right, represented by one circle. Ome, represented by two circles. Eyi, three circles. Nawi, four circles. Makwili, five circles and so on. Okay, now. So, yon se, se, ome, eyi, nawi, makwili. Then we have chikwase, chikome, chikweyi, chiknawi. Now here's a pattern, okay, now. So we see, um, Cheek, can I has cheek? Chikwase, right? Chikome, chikweyi, chiknawi. Can I? So this cheek right here um, is a prefix that means five. 
Right, so chico hace, five and one. Chico me, five and two, right? Uh, so chico hace, five and five, one, right? So six. Chico me, five, two, right? So seven. Chico ella, five, three, Kenna, so eight. Chignawi, five, four, so nine. All right, so that's the first pattern right there. All right, so let's count from zero through nine. Can I? You can uh, open your mic if you'd like. Uh, repeat after me. I will wait until the last person to say it because I know there's going to be a delay. Can I? Yonse. Yonse. Se. Se. Ome. 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 Eyi. Eyi. Nawi. Nawi. Makwili. Makwili. Chikwase. Chikwase. Chikome. Chikome. Chikweyi. Chikweyi. Chiknawi. Chiknawi. Quality talk. Right. And then we have the number 10, right? So 10 dots or 10 circles. Right, so Mahklakli. Mahklakli, which is 10. You know, so Mahklakli, right? So it's also referring your whole two hands. Mahklakli. You know? Then we have for 11, we have the word one, right? Which means end. One. So Mahklakli, right? You have 10, put them to the side. Mahklakli one se, right? Ten and one, which is eleven. Sure. Right? Mahklakli one se, and then we have Mahklakli one ome, right? Ten two, ten and two. Mahklakli one a, right? Ten three. And then we have Mahklakli Wanawi, right? 10 and 4. Okay, now so let's, uh, let's count from 10 okay, now, to 11. Okay, now. So Mahklakli. Right, um, repeat after me. You can open your mic. No, and then I'll wait for the last person to say it. Ma Mahklakli. Ma so you have 10, put them to the side. Mahklakli one say. Mahklakli one say. Mahklakli one ome. Mahklakli one ome. Mahklakli one nawi. Mahklakli one nawi. So we just counted from 10 to 14. Kina mahklakli 10. Mahklakli one se 11. Mahklakli one ome 12. Kina mahklakli one e 13. Mahklakli one nawi, 14, you know? And so we get to the number 15. The word changes, kashtolin, 15. Right, kashtolin, pronounce the, the N, but in other dialects of the Waseka, they drop the N, so kashtoli. Kashtoli or kashtolin. Right, so we have kashtoli and then another pattern. So we just keep adding to it using the word one again and then say ome e yinawi. So we have kashtoli, kashtoli one se, right? Kashtoli one ome, kashtoli one e yi, right? Kashtoli one nawi. So Kashtolin 15, Kashtolin 1 se 16, Kashtolin 1 ome, 
17 cached only one a uh, 18 cached only one now we 19 you can also just count from 15 to uh, 16 you can now so so we have 15 right so I guess we can do it with the hand three times cash stolen can now can you repeat after me? Gastolin. Gastolin. Right, so we have 15. Let's put them to the side. Gastolin one say. Gastolin one say. And a 16. Gastolin one ome. Gastolin one ome. And 17. Gastolin one a. Gastolin one now. And so that's 19. And then we get to what the word, right? Simple wali, 20. Right? Simple wali. Right? Let's practice that pronunciation. Simple wali. Simple wali. And so simple wali means 20. You know? 20 simple wali and right, we'll get further into uh, numbers in later lessons uh, but just know that now uh, that uh, in mesoamerican or so-called mesoamerican cultures uh, the number systems are in base of 20s in the base of 20s so let's count from zero through 20 and again you can open your mic and repeat after me I went into the last person to say it to go to the next number. Okay, now you can use your your fingers or not, whatever works for you. Okay, now just look at the screen as well. Um, yon se. Yon se. 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 Ome. Ome. Eyi. Eyi. Nawi. Nawi. Makwili. Makwili. Chikwase. Chikwase. Chikome. Chikome. Chikweyi. Chikweyi. Chignawi. Chignawi. Mahtlakli. Mahtlakli. No, so we have ten. Mahtlakli one se. Mahtlakli one se. Mahtlakli one ome. Mahtlakli one ome. Mahtlakli one a ye. Mahtlakli one a ye. Mahtlakli one now we. Mahtlakli one now we. And then we get to 15, can I? Kashtolin. Kashtolin. And so we have 15, let's put them to the side. Right, and then Kashtolin one say. Kashtolin one say. Kashtolin one ome. Castoni one woman. Castoni one a. Castoni one a. Castoni one now we. Then we have simple wali. Simple wali. Twenty. Right. So that's the first part of the name of this flower. Okay, now if you want to break down the word simple wali even further, my simple wali is 20 sem. This uh, particle means entirely or completely. Okay, now, and then wali is something counted. So simple wali, a whole count, right? So as I mentioned before, uh, this is um, now numbers are based of 20. Not just now with numbers, but other quote unquote Mesoamerican cultures. Simple Wali. And then, well, the word Xochit. You know? So, simple Wali Xochit is a compound word, meaning a word that's made up of two words, two nouns, a compound noun. Simple Wali. So, when you combine two words, you drop the ending of the first one. So we have simple while short sheets.
Right, we saw the different ways of saying it in Nahuatl Toldi, right? So Nahuatl language is what this means. So different variations of the name, but they are all referring to the, the flower. You know? It's the same type of flower for the day of the dead. So we have Sempa Xochit in classical orthography in yellow. And then on the right, you have the new orthography. Sempa Wal Xochit. Simple while short sheet, right? Similar pronunciation here, or simply just as simple while. And also, let's practice all the all the all the other words here, right? Repeat after me, you know? Simple short sheet. Simple short sheet. Simple short sheet. Simple short sheet. Simple, simple while short sheet. 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 Simple uh, which comes from Sempa Xochit, right? In the red font, you see how it was written in uh, the codice, right? So that's how it became the word in Mexican Spanish, Sempa Xochit, I'm sorry, Sempa Suchil, Sempa Suchil. Or simply just as Flor de Muerto. I'm just checking the okay the time. And in English, Tlaxcali or the English language, it's known as a Mexican marigold, the Aztec marigold, or also known as the African marigold. King uh, Kwai, well, um, it's. You know, during colonization, it was transported over there. It's also grown on uh, parts of Asia. <clears throat> and those parts, it's used for its, uh, to create a dye out of it. Ganke, ganin, where? Right, so where is it endemic? Meaning, where is it orig originally from? Well, it's originally from Mesoamerica, quote unquote. I right? remember that Meso means middle and then America. So meaning um, roughly just dif different maps show different borders, but um, right, no, no borders on our lands. Uh, but here, I mean, roughly around this area part, of most of Mexico or what's known as Mexico and into Central America. Right, so meaning that it's endemic, meaning that it's just it's just it's just grown wild there. Right? It's it's from there. Um, and for the other los muertos, Mica Iluit or uh, Iluit or Chantolo, it's cultivated in these states um, to be sold. Right for uh, Day of the Dead, Coahuila, so in Potosí, Hidalgo. And Puebla, Oaxaca, Guerrero, Michoacán, right? Estado de Mexico, Mexico City, Morelos. Um, in some parts, it's planted um, every year. Um, so we have the words here, queman, Juan Keski, right? Remember, Juan means and, queman means when, and Keski. Keski means how many? Keski. So in some parts, it's planted every year between mid-August to late August during the rainy season. Uh, and then it's sold, it's ready to be sold between uh, late October to November 2nd, right? Uh, around 15 to 20, sorry, 15 to 18 tons are cultivated every year. 
Kenke. Uh, so why, why, right? Why is this flower used? Uh, the smell, I don't know if you all have um, been around these flowers. Uh, they smell amazing. Uh, the color, right? So it's orange and yellow, like the rays of the sun, right? Um, and this color guides our relatives that have passed on. So the smell, as well as the, the color, right? And this is documented as uh, in some, um, some documents, right? Uh, roughly around why this is used, why this flower is used. I've also asked my teachers and this is exactly what they tell me as well. Right? Right, so let's get into how to say well, the day of the dead, right? So we have the word mihkat in the new orthography. Mihkat, modern orthography, or mihkat, right? So we have the same pronunciation, just in different orthographies, right? It's also important to know to, that there are different orthographies, but Let's not mix them up, you know? So we have the Mihkat, which is the new orthography. This is the modern orthography, which is remember that it's 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 mostly for, um, it's easier for Spanish speakers because we have the, the J in Spanish, Mihkat. Um, so just know that double K or double C, the first one is a sound, Mihkat. You know, so it's never used this way. Um, this means dead person, but it's never used this way. Um, it's used in an honorific, a diminutive way, like little and paying respect to it. So uh, the teen is equivalent to ito or ita in Spanish. So we have mihkatsin, right? So if you notice um, the siwat was explaining that Mihka ilwitl is mihkatsin and ilwitl. You know? So mihkatsin is muertito, right? Beloved little person would be the translation in, in, in English, right? Mihkatsin. Mihkatsin, mihkatsi, mihkatsin. Right? So mihkatsin, you can pronounce the N or not. And sometimes it's also running with the J at the end. Mihkatsi, mihkatsin. All right, so let's practice the pronunciation. You can repeat after me, can you? Mihkatsin. Mihkatsin. Mihkatsi. Mihkatsi. Mihkatsin. 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 And then the other part. So in, um, in some parts, there the dead is simply known as this word, ilwit, right? So it's day of festivity, right? Or it, also, it can also be just the word for day, right? In regards to day of festivity, right? So we have ilwit, ilwit, right? Yeah. These are different variations of how it's written. Um, also, there's another pronunciation as well. Il huit. Il huit. Il huit. And this is pronounced similar as the one here. Il huit. Right? So let's pronounce all of them, right? So just different ways of writing it. Um, this, is, this one is a little different, right? Il huit. <sighs> Sound, right? Like the air. Right, so let's go through each one. You can repeat after me, can I? Ilwit. 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 Right, so this can be, this word can be used for, uh, for a birthday as well, because it's day of festivity, can I? Um, and you also saw it, well, the name of the documentary is Shantolo, right? So this is from Sanctum Sanctorum, 
So this is Latin, which means the holy placing of the holy places or things, right? So it's kind of also referring to all, all saints day, right? So sanctorum, sanctorum, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it in Latin, but shantolo, it comes from this word right here. So that's the Nahuatlized version, which also is a name for day of the dead in Nahuatl. Shantolo. So we put Mijikatsin and Ilwit together. So this is literally um, Day of the Dead, Day of the uh, Festivity of the Dead, right? So Mijka Ilwit, Mijka Ilwit, Mijka Ilwit, right? Mijka Ilwit, right? So this one is the one that's different, where right? it has the sound in between here. Right, so let's practice the pronunciation, can I? Mishkailwit. 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 Right, so this flower, the uh, simple shochit, has medicinal use, right, for stomach ailments, right, for respiratory ailments, uh, vomiting, vile toothache, for uh, liver disease. You know, so just checking my time, okay. Um, and how 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 is it used medicinally? So it's prepared. Uh, the treatment it consists of cooking the branches with or without flowers uh, in incense or fried to apply orally or on the affected part. In baths, smeared and salves or inhaled, sometimes mixed with other plants, and it's also drunk or consumed as a tea. Here are other types, you know? So I believe it was 45 types, you know, Matt? Uh, I double checked, there's 50 officially scientifically recognized different types of marigold. Wow, interesting. So here are other three of them, other, here are other types in English and their scientific names. And we don't have all 50 here, but there's these are three other ones, right? So you have the French marigold, which is uh, orange and yellow, right? The red crescent marigold, right? You can see how it looks like a crescent moon. And then we have um, the golden marigold. Um, so if, if you've noticed, maybe around social media or in a documentary, there's another flower that's used. And this is a guapelech xochit, right? Guapelech is rooster. So flowers in, in Nahuatl are categorized by how they look, right? So simpa xochit is the sense that it has a lot of flowers, right? 20 flower. But this one, it looks like a rooster, right? In Nahuatl Cosmovision in the Nawa worldview, right? Kwapelech, Kwapelech, <coughs> excuse me, Kwapelech Xochitl. Uh, Flor de Terciopelo in Spanish, Flor de Mano de Leon, de Leon or Coxcomb in English. Uh, the following are some examples, uh, some photographs of the um, altars in Chicontepec, Veracruz, right? You can see the other flower. And there's another white flower that's used as well. You can see the adaptation of uh, Catholic saints and uh, Guadalupe. Uh, this is from Pátzcuaro, Michoacán, right? The, uh, they go to the cemetery and decorate the tombs with the flower. This is in Quetzalan, Puebla. Right, so part of the altars, there's uh, fruits, there's uh, chocolate, drinks, pictures of the dead as well. 
right? This is from Merida, Yucatan, right? Papel picado is used, which is festive, right? Candles, water is used as well in these altars. And these are some resources. And so that is today's class. Um, in Kipia, do you have any questions? This is what that dye looks like when it's dyed. This is wool dyed with chimpa susal. Oh, wow. Nice. It looks yellow, that one. Mm -hmm. no. Kualtitok. Bueno, um, oh, next week, no class. So we'll, we'll come back on the 14th. Kena? So no class. Kena, Rebecca, you had a question? Um, I guess it's a kind of a, a dumb question. That video that we watched at the beginning, it's part of the recording. So I could just watch it again when you upload that. It's not part of the recording, um, mm -hmm. but I will send you the link to the video. Thank you so much. Ashlyn, no problem. Bueno, Timoitase, we'll see each other. Shimoma, we can take care of yourselves. Thank you. Tuaskamati.